Figaro! In the flesh! Figaro! That hurt? That's me! Figaro here, Figaro there, Figaro short, Figaro square, Figaro tall, Figaro small, Figaro one, Figaro all, Figaro standing, ready to serve you, ready and waiting, ready for anything, ready for anything, ready for anything, ready for anything, David, it's yours! Brava la Figaro, brava la Vissima, brava la Vissima, brava la Vissima, brava la Figaro, brava la Figaro, brava la Figaro, brava for me! No, 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 He sort of loves adventure and not really knowing what the outcome is going to be. It's, it's crazy, you know, when I said yes to the project, they said, oh, it's an adaptation of, of Rossini's uh, The Barber of Seville, and I thought, okay, fine, adaptation, surely I won't have to sing any opera. I was wrong. What we did was we took what we thought was the best of the opera and the best of the play and put them together. So we've got a really functioning plot and a lot of comedy, plus we've got all the great tunes of the opera. I think it's a, I think it's a very witty uh, assemblage of a classic play that's been adapted to our language and our environment. The Theatre Columbus version uh, was about 17 years ago, so it was a long time ago. This is a new production. It feels um, almost like a premiere. It feels that different. The script uh, has changed a lot, and uh, I like to think that it's grown up. Well, when we began um, way back, we, uh, we thought of the Barber of Seville as source material, but there are two Barbers of Seville. There, are, there is the original Beaumarchais play um, uh, in the 18th century, and then a little bit later, the uh, Rossini opera. And I looked at both, and I loved the wit uh, and the and the depth of the of the play of Beaumarchais's play, and uh, and the, the the beauty and the power uh, and 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 the joy of of uh, Rossini's opera. And I realized that the perfect version had to combine elements of both. The performers are amazing in it. They are just embracing it with great delight and joy and commitment. And I like to say they take their comedy seriously. I play Racina. I'm a young girl who's been living as the ward of uh, Don Bartolo my entire life, and I'm just desperately yearning to break free and discover who I am and maybe find a little bit of romance along the way. And I play Count Almaviva, who is sort of this libertine known as the, the great inseminator, <laughs> and uh, who sort of is having a crisis in his life and just wants to be loved for himself. As a piece of theater, it feels like a, like it, it's a it's a generous little gift for audiences. You know, it's just sort of like watch this, have fun, laugh with us, be entertained. And more than once, once a day, twice a day, three times yeah. a day, I'm lying on the floor in a fit of giggles, just like waving a white flag and saying, mm. "I can't take it anymore because you guys are killing me." It's much like cartoon because uh, the action is constantly shifting, and there are so many things happening at the same time in terms of what the characters are thinking and what they're trying to do. Um, I think they'll be really entertained. It's mostly just really funny and great tunes. Like it's just, it's really entertaining. It's a really entertaining show. There's a line. There's a line in the song in one of the songs that I think sums up the show. What's All that? the world is in confusion. Peace and love are just illusions. Plug your nose and then you dive. That's the way you stay alive. It, it, it embraces joyfully embraces the chaos and confusion of life. <laughs>